on Game Time at 7 Eastern. We know Chris Paul will not be there. What we don't know yet is whether or not Andre Iguodala will be playing. Still questionable. He's missed the last two games, and we've probably underrated, I think, how important, guys, that has been, right? Oh, absolutely. You f people forget fast that he was the finals MVP a couple years ago. Yep. But he makes the engine roll run, just like Draymond Green, especially when he's able to get the ball off the rebound and push in a step, and Clay can just come off pin downs, come off dribble handoffs. So it gives another guy up there that can pretty much run the offense and make all the right plays for them. Watching the last couple of games, I'm sitting there, and I've said, no offense to Porzingis, I think the real unicorn in this league is Durant. At his size, mm. what he can do, unstoppable, we've seen it. But the last two games in the fourth quarter has made a total of one shot. And really not even yesterday, the game before that, some of the worst shots, Grant, we've ever seen him take. From the corner high off the backboard, Rip, we talked about it earlier today, and I think this is important from two high-level stars on this set. You think maybe just a little bit of wear and tear, a little tired. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think fatigue is definitely a factor. And if you look at some of Kevin Durant's shots that he makes in the first couple quarters, you're not saying they're easy shots. <laughs> the first thing that comes to your mind is tough. That was a tough shot. He's just being more talented, uh, taller than everybody else, and being able to knock down them shots. But late in the game, I mean, Grant, I mean, he is struggling. I, I mean, think it's 18 percent like, yeah, in I, the finals and in the fourth. Quarter. Man, when you got P.J. Tucker and Trevor Reza just grabbing and holding you for three and a half quarters, I mean, that takes an effect on your game. Well, you said it best. They're not easy shots. He makes them look easy, yeah. particularly when he's making them. Uh, but you're right. I, I do think fatigue. I mean, Houston, they're switching and they've pretty much switched everything throughout this series. So Golden State has relied on mm -hmm. uh, isolation, one-on-one -on -one play, particularly Durant, who had been consistent up until the last couple of games. And you wonder, look, he, he does look a little out of sorts, a little out of rhythm. You wonder if fatigue is, is playing a role in that regard. But uh, Kevin Durant is capable, more than capable, of getting the turn around. And all you got to do is just get some rhythm, get some timing. But that's the thing here, too, the turnovers. You got to give credit to Houston. They've been very active. They've shown some toughness on the defensive mm -hmm. end and really uh, taking them out of their rhythm, Golden State. Uh, you, you haven't really seen a team do that, be that disruptive on the defensive end against Golden State, but they have to value the basketball. That has been their Achilles heel, the Warriors. They can value the basketball with Chris Paul out and, and, and Durant can have a, a normal Kevin Durant game then they should be able to take care of business and win game six. You know, some guys not being talked about, I think, a lot for whatever reason. Outside of that one big quarter, Steph has had not really a Steph-like series. And I don't. he says it's not the injury, so he's healthy. How much is that the Rockets? And going back to what you said before, Rip, combining the two stories, how much does he need to take a bigger load the first three quarters of the offense so that that way, if he's the focus, maybe KD's a little bit fresher in the fourth. Well, like I said, I think he has to handle the ball a little bit more. He has to initiate the offense. I think when you look at their success all season, when you got Andre Iguodala, you got Draymond Green, you got guys that can come in there and now he, him and Clay can just run off pin downs and run off screens and things of that nature. Now you got Kevin Durant running the offense. And you can see in Steve Kerr's face a lot of times, they want to play faster. They want to initiate the offense a lot faster. But when, when the Houston Rockets are switching out to everything and you got great defenders switching out on Steph like like uh, Trevor Ariza and PJ Tucker guys that are playing the four or five position for the Houston Rocket team it's not easy that is not considered a mismatch in a regular season it might be a bigger guy where that's considered a mismatch and now the only way that Steph can really get his shot off is being in one-on-one -on -one situations because he's not getting them in pin, pin downs he's not getting them in dribble handoffs in, in places where he's most comfortable at and most comfortable of getting it all season long. Grant, we know uh, James Harden most likely to win the MVP. He's had a fantastic season. And, look, he's played hard defensively. He's done other things. But the three-point shot, even with all the iso ball, a lot of dribbling, but then 0 for 20 from three, his last 20 shots. We know it's a stat waiting to be corrected, but how have you seen Harden play here the last couple of games? Well, he, he struggled from downtown. And, look, those shots that he, he's missing, those are tough shots. I mean, we're accustomed to seeing him make those three-pointers off the dribble a lot of times, stepping back. Uh, obviously, he missed that one right there, but we, you know that right there, that's not an easy <laughs> shot, and obviously he missed that. So, what we talked about with Durant, and that you know the fatigue factor—not that you know it's an excuse—and as they say, fatigue makes cowards of us all. But you wonder, is 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 it just the having to go ISO every possession? Golden State defensively is doing exactly what 
Houston is doing defensively. And when you switch everything and you don't post up and take advantage of the mismatches, you rely on players on the perimeter to go one-on-one. -on -one. And that can be exhausting. And I think it's kind of taken its toll. We've seen both uh, Harden and Durant kind of struggle here as of late be as a result. We're going to see what happens tomorrow night. But for now, any question for either of you that we're going seven? I say yes, we're going seven. Yeah, we're going seven. Okay. I would agree. Yeah. Would you have said that if Chris Paul was healthy? I would say that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's sitting. <laughs> <laughs> we, we